What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. So the Volt Inu V3 official migration is taking place right now. So I got everything migrated over, but I'm gonna do this video as a demonstration to walk y'all through it to show you how to get your V2 tokens over to V3. You remember what happened last time Volt Inu migrated to V2? That was about a 14X. So no, not financial advice, you know, but just speculating. We got a million dollar burn coming up on the 15th. Volt Inu is now a zero tax token and it is in meme coin season. So, you know, that's an alignment for uh you know for us to shoot if you ask me not financial advice but i think things are looking good for vote you let's take a look at this post we have here from ever rise they say ever migrate onboarding Vote Inu is now migrating using Ever Migrate. Please visit the following link to migrate your vote. Now, I did retweet this post so that way y'all can have the official link to click on. Don't just be out there clicking on any link, or you can go to the official Vote Inu page and find this post and click that link there as well. Also, you can go through the Everwise website and find this link. So, also, Vatoshi says $2.5 million worth of Vote V2 has been migrated in less than two hours. The V2 supply is getting locked by the minute, but you can still buy tax free. So, understand right now, Vote Inu is able to be bought without that 13% tax. Votoshi says supply shock before the voted run even starts. So, the screenshot of that right there, you can see it all right there getting locked up. People excited. You can check the comments on that one. And then we got. The Volt V2 to V3 migration is now available on Everrise DAP. The main migration will last two days. Then on May 13th, the V3 trading will go live on Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and Polygon. You will still be able to migrate forever after the V3 launch. The migration tutorial can be found below. So here's a medium link with that here. I also retweeted this out if you want to grab the medium link from here. That way you can also find the contract address, the new V3 contract address inside of this medium link. But I'm going to show you all uh, where you can copy paste it from later on in this video. So two, uh, 2.5 million already and it's only been two hours, you know. That shows a good sign that, you know, the community is paying attention. The community is excited about it. And most likely the community is going to be buying once this event, you know, uh, once V3 actually goes live on the 13th. So launching the V3 at a $60 million market cap means that $1 billion is only a 16x away. Showing right there, that's when this actually took place. That's when it officially launched. And Vitosha just letting us know that, you know, our goal right now is a billion dollar market cap. And if Vote Inu was to get there from where we are right now, that would be a 16X. So, you know, that's bullish right there. Now, you just gotta always remember to be wise, but understand, you know, this is a journey too. So you can't expect this to just happen overnight. I wouldn't expect, you know, just because we're going to V3, you know, to think that it's just gonna blow right out the water. So for those that might be thinking that, I want y'all to just be a little calm. Now, this can allow this removes a barrier for us to allow more people to be attracted to Vote Inu as an investment because now there's no tax on it. So now Vote Inu has all these utilities, a strong community already, uh, a, a strong social presence, and now no taxes. You know, so likely that's lowering that barrier. More investors should come in from that, especially being in meme coin season. So I'm bullish right now. Let's get closer to this migration process. V3 trading going live on Saturday. Zero tax, $1 million burn on Monday. Voted like Chad. Vatoshi giving y'all a heads up, letting y'all know it's about to go down. So here's the link right here. Once you go to the Everrise, uh, once you click on that Everrise migration link, you'll see you'll come to the Ever Migrate page. There'll be an orange button over here in the top right corner. Click on that to connect wallet. It says connect wallet and dev log in on the side. Click that. And then once you click that, it'll pop up and ask you which way do you want to connect your wallet? Do you want to do wallet connect? You know, are you doing trust wallet, whatever, uh, Coinbase wallet, MetaMask, you know, whichever way you're using, connect your wallet. Once you do that, it'll ask you which version do you want to use? Do you want to use Binance Smart Chain? Do you want to use Ethereum and whatnot? So you have to determine, you know, what chain is your vote Inu on? Some of, most of my community has vote on both so if you're doing let's for, for instance uh bsc you would click the first option binance smart chain when it pops up and then you would it would ask you at the top it will be this drop down menu will highlight and you can click it and it'll ask you to input which token at the bottom it will be vote inu click on the vote inu and it ask you the input amount how much it'll show you how much you have available to trade you want to click the max amount to you know convert all your v2 tokens over to v3 once you do that this bar will pop up it'll show you the output that you know you'll be getting as well 
and then what you want to do is click enable now you'll have to pay a gas fee once you do click this enable button actually two gas fees uh first my first gas fee was around four cent the second one was around 32 cents so if you're doing it on bsc it's a little cheaper on ethereum it was around um 40 bucks i believe 50 bucks 60 bucks something like that but uh you just want to do each one separate understand where you have your vote enu at understand if you have it on binance you have to be on the binance smart chain selected option when you connect uh to the ever migrate so if you're transferring v2 eth vote then you want to be on the ethereum version make sure you do that you don't want to uh, accidentally confuse that and end up losing your tokens but once you do that then you'll be able to click this enable button you'll click enable it'll process go through it might stall you might have to click enable one more time if it doesn't auto if this migrate button doesn't automatically pop up and once the migrate button pops up you'll click migrate it'll charge you another gas fee gas fee click approve it'll approve the fee uh the transaction it'll go through and then you'll see a transaction pop up down here with the evt number uh date it'll say uh the amount of tokens that you know put out and the amount that are going in now these tokens will go into the same wallet that you already are holding it in so keep that in mind if you want to switch wallets you can click this advanced option and then in paste or input a new wallet address where you want to send your v3 vote to if it's a separate wallet if you're not planning on holding it inside of the same wallet so uh once you do that your tokens will be migrated and then you want to come over to the medium article and grab the v3 vote enu contract address so grab that and then you'll post that into your wallet and then you add the vote symbol v-o-l-t and then actually how many decimals you put nine and then the v3 version of vote will pop up and it'll be inside your wallet so that's how you migrate Hopefully this video makes that process, you know, simple for those that might have been intimidated by, you know, doing it. I know anytime some people hear that migration word, you know, it sounds like, oh, we got to do something again. Like, you know, a lot of people are worried about not receiving the same amount of tokens. So the good thing about this migration process is it is a one to one migration, meaning that however many tokens you had before the migration, once you migrate, you have that same amount of tokens. This process is just to switch over to a new contract. So that way, vote you can go to a zero percent tax. So that's all we got for this video. Hit that like button. Appreciate y'all for pulling up. We are.